For problems 13 through 15, uh, we're asked to solve the system. So we're still kind of doing what we're doing up here in, uh, conceptually, which is we're trying to find that point of intersection. But um, that point of intersection we're try gonna try to get without a graph. So we're not actually gonna draw anything out and find where they physically cross, although that is the solution that we're looking for. Instead, we are going to apply this algebraic technique to get the answer uh, rather than uh, this geometric technique. So uh, the way that this works is first you need one of the equations to have a variable isolated. So like notice how in this second equation the y is all by itself in one of the equations. In 14 we can see the x is by itself. In 15 nothing is by itself so we're going to have to do like a little extra step to, to force that to happen. Um, so there'll be one extra step when we get to 15. Uh, so let's start with 13 though, um, and I'm just going to work slowly through this, this method of substitution. Um, the first step is once you have a variable isolated like we do here, uh, you are going to take the expression that that variable equals and substitute it into the variable in the other equation. So if y equals 5x plus 7, then I can replace y in the other equation with 5x plus 7. So I'm going to rewrite this first equation, 3x plus, and instead of writing y, I'm going to write 5x plus 7. From here, we're going to solve this equation like we would have done in, um, I guess unit 1 is when we first learned how to solve equations. Uh, we need to combine like terms, 3x plus 5x is 8x. We need to subtract 7 on both sides. And I'm just kind of going through the motions here. Uh, uh, you know, we've solved lots of linear equations going all the way back to the beginning of the year. Divide by 8 on both sides. And so x is negative 2. Now, you know, back in unit 1, where if you've got an equation like this and you solve it, you're basically done. Uh, here, though, unfortunately, we're not done because what we're looking for is this point of intersection. And so what we found is we just found the x, right? We've only found that first part of the coordinate. We can go ahead and kind of write our answer down here, negative two comma something, but we still need to find the something. So the, the natural question here is like, well, how do I use this x value of negative two to find the y value? So to do that, I'm going to substitute again, okay? The whole reason why this method is called substitution is because of all the, literally all the substitution, all the substituting you're doing. Uh, we do one substitution up front where we substitute y for 5x plus 7, and we're going to do another substitution where we're going to substitute negative 2 in for x. Now, it doesn't really matter which equation you plug it into. You'll get the answer, the correct answer either way. Um, but you want to pick one that you feel like is going to be a little bit easier to deal with. And in general, um, it's usually a good idea to plug it into the one where you have the, the y that you're looking for isolated. So you don't have to actually solve anything. You just have to uh, compute a, a value. So I'm going to take this negative 2 and substitute it into x right there. So I'm going to rewrite that second equation as y equals 5 times, instead of x, I'm going to uh, uh, write negative 2. So 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 plus 7 is negative 3. Let's double check that. Uh, good idea to, let's clear that out. Just a good idea to double check your work here. We got, oh, let's, I thought I cleared that out. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. So 5 uh, times negative 2 plus 7. Yep, in fact, negative 3. So we do get negative 3 as our y coordinate there. And so that is going to be the second part of my solution. Uh, so we get a solution of negative 2, negative 3, um, just like with every other problem. You guys know what's coming up if you've been following along. And that is we're going to check. Okay, so I'm going to pull up Desmos real quick. I'm not going to go through all the, gra the TI graphing calculator steps. Um, if, you, if you want to know how to find the intersection on the graphing calculator, go back and look at uh, one of these questions, 10 through 12, and I, I go through those steps. Uh, so I'm just using this to check real quick uh, for these substitution problems. So I'm going to, let's pull up Desmos, and I'm going to type in both equations that I started with, 3x plus y equals negative 9. 
and uh, let's see here, y equals 5x plus 7, Oops, not c, 5x plus 7, and take a look and it, we do get that intersection point of negative 2, negative 3. Uh, so we're good. Um, and that's going to be the answer to number 13.